Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm Murky Meg, and if you're a fan of Harry and or Meghan, maybe this isn't the place for you. Today is an absolute doozy. So on Friday, apparently, Prince Harry and Meghan were surprise guests at Kevin Costner's 1805 Live, which is an event hosted by Kevin Costner at his Californian estate. Now, VIP guests include Oprah. Oh, she's popular at the moment, isn't she? Ellen DeGeneres and her wife, Portia. Holy moly, she's another popular one, isn't she? Now, this was in Santa Barbara, and it was for the first responders. Apparently, this happens every single year. Kevin Costner does this. It's a charity event. While everybody was dressed for nice, light, warm weather, Meghan Markle wasn't one of them. She wore this kind of weird jacket, this kind of hunched-up, belted, black-and-white kind... Oh, it was hot. Look, it was horrible. Anyway... This I am procrastinating because one of the funniest things I've seen in a long, long time. (laughs) I'm just laughing thinking about it. I'm going to show you a video and it is hilarious and it's taken social media by absolute storm because it's just Megan being her narcissistic self-entitled self again. Watch this. Here's the stage. There they come, there they come. Uh, Hello, hello, hello. A woman comes in with a microphone. Megan goes to grab it. No, no, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, no, that's not for me, is it? And off she goes. And to the stage. Um, And then grabs an award straight away. It's weird. And then she just stands there. Uh, Doesn't know what to do. Clap. Oh, she nearly drops it. Yes. And put it down. Um, It's so bloody awkward. And then Harry grabs the microphone and adds... Gives it to this bloke in the red t-shirt. It's weird. It's so good. I've got to watch it again. <laughs> here they come. Here they come. Here they come. And she thinks the microphone's for her. Off she goes. No, 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 no. Oh, no, that's not for me. Um, he, 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 on the stage. Um, yes. Grabs the award and microphone. Uh, he's got the microphone. And then Harry then takes the microphone from him, does he? he where's he going to take the microphone? Uh, oh, there's another microphone that comes in. Ah, yes. There we go. Uh. We uh, and then he joins Megan. Right. Um. Looks awkward. She then puts the claw on him. It's so awkward. It's cringeworthy. I've actually slowed it down for you. You can see the realization on her face that oh yeah, it's not for me, and she, it's it's very uncomfortable. And there's that weird kind of awkward smirk, and it's that narcissist mask slipped like oh. Oh, caught out. It's almost like a slap in the face for a narcissist to be put in their place. Well, it is really. They do not like to be shown to be a fool or have control taken away from them. And we've seen it time and time again with Megan. The mask sometimes slips and the element of anger comes out. It's classic narcissistic trait. But I've got another one for you. It's another awkward moment. So here we have them on stage. Again, the guy with the red t-shirt. She's then goes up, pick up the award, and then gives it to Harry. And then shakes Kevin Costner's hand. What's their purpose there for? What, what are they there for? Just to literally pick up an award and hand it. It's almost as if, like, they gate crashed the entire event and that, that there was no role for them, apart from being there. Which leads me to believe is that, why are they there? So they were billed, well, they weren't billed at all. They were surprise VIP guests, which generally means that they're gate crashers. They couldn't have been invited because they didn't seem to have any role. They just seemed to be there as hangers-on and weird people on the stage. There wasn't any official role or compare or anything. Why were they there? Were they there to schmooze? The press are saying, oh my God, they're royalty and now they're Hollywood. They're being accepted into Hollywood. No, probably Kevin Costner just wants some money from them. You know, this was an event to raise money for for first responders. And of course, you are going to invite the wealthy people of Santa Barbara and people that could possibly donate to your charity event. And what with Archwell being so prominent, (laughs) I tried to say that with a straight face. I really, really did. But then, you know, he invited Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres and hey-ho, let's have a good old fundraiser. 
the fact that they, the press are saying that they were given star billing, that's not the case at all. If they had star billing, they would actually have a role to do rather than just stand on stage and pick up an award and hand it to Kevin Costner. It's so awkward, but it's so delicious. I'm going to watch this particular bit again where she hands Harry the award and then touches his back as if he's a good boy. I mean, that's all it really is. She treats him like a child, for goodness sake. I mean, one thing I have to say about Harry is that Harry has been raised for this life to give awards, to make speeches, to be there as like a patron of sorts. Obviously, he can't do that now because he's not royal, but that's what royal life is. It's to meet and greet, and that's what he knows how to do. But she seems to be like, it's congratulating him on a job well done. It's so cringy. Just let me slow this down for you. She like pats him on the back and almost pushes him like you would do a child. Now, a lot of people have said, oh my God, Kevin didn't really engage with them, blah, 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 blah. I've seen video footage of him actually chatting. Here he is chatting with Harry. So, you know, he obviously wanted them there, but I personally think it's just purely for money. Money, money, money. Because they are pretty toxic at the moment. Now, I find this little juicy tidbit on the St. Meghan Markle Reddit group. If you don't know what that is, it's a really good, good group. And they share some amazing tidbits. So hi to St. Meghan Markle Reddit. You guys are absolutely awesome. So this Five of Wands posted, the couple was spotted backstage chatting with Costner, as well as a senior police and firefighting officials. Costner was later overheard speaking to other guests saying, I did everything I could. I hid behind a pillar, went to the gents, tried to talk to other people, but I just couldn't shake them off until they finally cornered me. Who do you think he's talking about? There's only one issue I have with this, and that's the word gents. Now, that's generally a British term for men's toilets. It is an informal term. Do you guys, in America or around the world, do you guys use the term gents when you refer to going to the loo? Well, obviously not women, but do men do that? Do men refer to themselves going to the gents? It's very English, I think, but I could be wrong. I've looked on Colin's dictionary and a singular noun, people sometimes refer to public toilet for men as the gents and it's British informal. So I'd be interesting to know your thoughts on that. Do you think that's something that Kevin Costner would have said? Possibly? I don't know. I hope it's true, but I'm just bringing you the information that I found. I also think it's funny that at the start of Kevin Costner's speech, he talked about friends with no manners, asking how much this place cost. And uh, a lot of people are thinking that he meant Harry and Meghan. I'd like to think he was too. And a lot of people are speculating about the gazes that Meghan was giving Kevin and the longing looks that you know, that whole love bombing aspect, because that's typically what narcissists do. They charm you, they love bomb you, but the whole doughy eyed look, we've seen it time and time again, and they charm you into thinking that they are the most lovable person, that they're so kind and caring, and aren't they sweet, and blah, 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 and it's all in the facial expressions, and that's known as love bombing. They literally just sugar saccharine sweetness and light around your presence, until their true narcissistic self comes out. But obviously, Kevin Costner is going through quite a messy divorce at the moment, but he's worth a very pretty penny. And with all the deals that Harry and Meghan have got going down the pan at the moment, because Archwell, you know, Archtypes, that was canned by Spotify, and then this whole, oh, it will still be going out, or we'll still be making it, don't worry, we'll still be making it. Now nah, that's been completely canned gone. No more episodes. Ah, oh, diddums. But the deals are going south and Netflix are obviously piling on the pressure to do more and more for them. They've paid a hefty sum for content. The Heart of Invictus has completely flopped. So they're under a huge amount of pressure to push content out. Otherwise, they will get canned from Netflix too. Without Netflix... I don't really have much coming in because that Archwell, although it, it does keep updated on their website, not much is really coming out. There's no money spinners there. 
nothing, no hullabaloo around about Archwell. So what exactly does it do? It's very, very strange. Anyway, I digress. The reason why I'm saying this is that could she be now eyeing up husband number... Well, I've lost count. Hmm, three or four? I mean, Harry is either her, for those that think that she got married before Trevor, which hmm, some people do, some people don't. It's a possibility. But could Kevin Costner, could she be sharking? Sharking, that's what, that's the word I'm looking for. Sharking. Is she sharking? Is she on the hunt? Hey, here's a question for you. If Netflix drop them and they literally have no lucrative deals left, how long is she going to stick around? <laughs> I'd love to know your thoughts on that one. And the press were going to town. They said that Meghan Markle mistakenly reaching for the microphone. It was not a mistake. She wanted that microphone. She assumed the microphone was for her because she's self-entitled and narcissistic. Everything is about Meghan Markle. But luckily, the lady in the pink jacket put her in her place and it was quality. Before I end this video, I'm going to read you a very interesting tweet that I found from Mystified fantastic account on Twitter. If you haven't already, please go and follow them. They say, I take that back. Harry and Meghan paid 12k each to get into Kevin Costner's charity event, where if you watch the video, Kevin Costner doesn't even acknowledge her. That's very true, actually. And if she wasn't married to Harry, whose mother Kevin Costner loved, she wouldn't be anywhere near there. I'd love to hear the private talk about Meghan and their rictus grin trying to grab the microphone from somebody. What an embarrassment. Couldn't agree more, to be perfectly honest. So, like always, I would love to know your thoughts on all of this. Do you think they paid to get in? Do you think they really were VIP guests? They were the starring role? And if they were, why weren't they giving like a more of a role to do other than stand there and pass an award to the real people that were supposed to be there? What do you think of the cringy moments? Are you as gleeful as I am? When I sat and watched that, I, you know, when your heart flutters with laughter, it's hilarious. And please tell me what your thoughts on about her grabbing that microphone and the lady in pink just not giving her any airtime at all. It's hilarious. As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.